Hey guys, welcome to Resident Evil Revelations. So, for those of you who are already subscribed to me, you probably know I did a demo of this game, like, a week ago. And I wasn't sure if I was going to play it, but I really thought the demo looked good. And uh, this game, for, you, for those of you who don't know, this game is actually ported from the Nintendo 3DS. Which is crazy, because this game looks sick. If you, you can uh, go watch my demo if you haven't seen it already. Kind of show you a little uh, overview of what this game is going to be like. And uh, hopefully the beginning, because this is part one, so hopefully it's not the same exact thing as that the demo was. I think it's a little different. So, Alright, but with that said, let's jump into this. I'm actually pretty pumped. I haven't played Resident Evil besides the demo. I haven't played it since. Oh, I played a little bit of six, but I didn't do. I didn't play the whole game. I just played a tiny portion of it. But besides that, it's been like since two or something. It... But I love Resident Evil games, you know. All right, All right let's do this. Revelations. You might have saw a little transition there. That was only because. I clicked on this thing that sent me to Resident Evil.net and fucked everything up. So. Alright, here we go. I'm trying not to talk through the cutscenes because it's really annoying. <laughs> hey, Jill. This thing is lucky to be afloat. Take us around. Let's find a boarding point. Yeah, so this is already a little different. The demo kind of, from the demo, I mean, the demo kind of just throws you in there. And you're in like the middle of this room. You gotta find Chris and shit. What? Is this fucking Tomb Raider? <laughs> the new Tomb Raider you get a rope ascender it's called. That's exactly what that shit is. So I wonder if that is real then. Cause I'm, in that game I was like, leave me a comment it's if you know if this thing is fucking real. Maybe it is. This is also another the video game though. Puts them right here on the ship. It's probably not real. <laughs> Ah, here we go, baby. Alright, I'm going to change the controls a little because I had to do this in the demo. They're a little funky. I'll be right back, though. Okay, guys, I think we're good on the controls. So let's do this shit. The, the sensitivity and the way you move is... Whoa, shit. It's a little funky, but you start to get used to it. At least I did by the time the demo was over and that shit was only like 15 minutes. Look at this. I don't like the sound of that. A bell? Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. Good old Resident Evil. Padlock shoot. Ooh. It's nasty looking in here. It's been abandoned for a while. How many guns? I have like 12 pistols. Look at this. Oh yeah, that's because I got the uh, Jill DLC thing. I think it came with Steam. So I already have like 12 fucking guns. No, I think I have 3 guns. It's pretty dope. What are these, I wonder? Hmm. I'll rock this one for now. Oh shit! <laughs> Look at him crawling in the fucking room. I don't think we're alone. Do you see him? Hopefully, I didn't miss anything. I don't think I did. Whoa, she's a little kind of jerky. 
You see that? Look at her. Oh, whoa, what the fuck's in that vent? Why is her body doing that? I don't know. That's weird. There's blood coming from the ducks. Oh. I actually went exploring in the demo and you can find this area. I don't know why her body's being all jerky like. No power, it's kind of weird. Means no elevator for us. All right. So yeah, I actually went exploring in the DLC and all of this is the same, right? In the area I went to and then she's going to look down and be like, "It's not working." It's not working. There you go. So if this becomes a lot like the demo, I'm sorry, I'll just rush through it because I already know what to do. It won't take me 15 minutes this time. If it does, I'm a moron. <laughs> yeah, I've been through all this area before. Oh, did you see that giant ass fucking rat? It shorted out. That thing was huge. Yeah, this is this room right here is where you start out in the demo. Look at this guy. Ugh, the face is smashed in completely. Oh, gruesome. Well, what's that? Jill, take a look at this. Parker, give me a hand here. Sure, no problem. I got something. I think it's a gun. Now what? Give me a sec. <laughs> Stop being a bitch. You're not the one reaching your hand down there. So, it's not Chris. It's a pretty sweet looking gun though. Yeah, none of this happened in the demo, by the way. I'm gonna stop talking about the fucking demo. Oh, shit! Damn! <gasps> Not gonna touch me, bitch. That was a headshot. A little bit. Come on, where's that headshot? Yeah, yo. Yeah. Oh, fuck. No, you don't. There you go. Good night. This explains our missing crew. This is not good. Nope. Where Sorry if you just had a microphone pop right there. Just emphasize my P too much. Episode 1 into the depths. I'm probably going to make this a long one. I'm going to do the whole episode. I'm going to try to. I'm going to do it. Fuck it. <laughs> this sunny and idyllic Mediterranean coast was the site of one of the world's greatest structures. It took a full 11 years to finish constructing the world's first Aquapolis, the floating city of Terra Grigia. A sustainable metropolis operating on a massive solar energy matrix and equipped with the latest green technologies. Never before had solar energy been used to supply power to an entire city. But Damn. in 2004, Veltro, a terrorist group opposing the city's development, launched a bioterrorist attack. They not only released a virus, but also several creatures Holy shit. known as bioorganic weapons, further complicating the situation. This launched one of the worst tragedies the world has ever seen. The FBC, 
the world's leading counter-bioterror organization operating under the auspices of the U.S., was called in to direct efforts to contain the attack. The BSAA, a counter-bioterror NGO, which operates independently of the interests of any that one dude looks country, like profit went from in as observers to <laughs> Bioshock <the> Infinite. <laughs> Realizing totally. the need for immediate and decisive action, Supreme Local Headquarters issued the order to use the city's solar energy matrix on itself. Whoa. Media outlets around the world began to refer to the incident as the Terra Grigia Panic. So we just melted Following a city with a incident, satellite? The FBC Sounds announced about right. it has successfully disbanded the terrorist group called Veltro. It is now 2005, and a sense of calm and security is finally returning to the people. But, as you can see, the lost city of Terra Grigia remains inaccessible, a silent and potent symbol of the threat that bioterror poses for people around the world. It's just so chilling out there in the ocean. You are. O'Brien, you don't normally join the fray. Well, my doctor told me I need to. Can't exercise. tell if that guy's fat or just really jacked. I assume you both know that the FBC has cordoned off the entire area. However, in the past few weeks, he's like fat jacked. Mysterious carcasses I guess. have washed up. I guess the FBC couldn't cover up a mess this big, huh? Anyone who knows what happened here is going to put two and two together. And that's why I've sent the BSAA in to investigate. Did you pick up your new equipment from Quint? Yeah. Uh, Genesis or something. Is that its name? You didn't bother to read the manual, did you? No. Uh, I brought it with me, just in case. I hope you read quickly, because you're going to need it on your mission. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm on it. That's why in the demo I didn't recognize that fucking thing. Must get introduced in this game. Cause during the demo I had to use this and I like, it took me forever to figure out what to do because I n never used this thing before. Then I realized this is something new. Just hop down. Ah, look what at this. What the fuck is this? Mess. Oh, they're so he wants me to scan this? Nah. A Genesis requires a decent sample size to get an accurate reading. Scan the carcasses on the beach and send me your data. I'm getting some metal detected from inside it. Careful now. Don't worry, I've done this before. The hell is this fucking thing? The blob? Looks like the fucking blob. I've got something. What is she reaching into right now? What is this? Hmm. If it's an engineered mutation, this could prove a link. I'll run some tests on this. Continue with the investigation. Jill kind of reminds me of uh, Kate from that show, Castle. <laughs> I bet some of you out there, Ooh, wrong button, know what the fuck I'm talking about. Scan that little thing. Ooh, give me this. <laughs> I like, reach the ground two feet away and it picks up. Oh, mother- Whoa, shit! What are you doing, bitch? Say normal. That's what she was reaching into, I guess. A fucking gaping hole of the mouth. I wonder if that thing will like swallow you. <laughs> I was like, why can't I back up? 
After Raccoon City, oh, that wasn't too bad. Must be a cakewalk. I suppose. So why'd you quit the FBC for this outfit? I wanted to be more involved. I wanted to fight. I see you two are okay. Ooh, herb. Continue with the investigation, but proceed. Chomp some herb. Look at this little piece. I got 57 complete. Hopefully no more of these stupid things come alive. It probably will. Oh! Or blow up. That smell. Do I have to scan it again? From gas. Yeah, I did. What's that? Grenade? Fuck yeah, it is. And handgun ammo. Just chilling. You, you guys ever walk on a beach and just find a grenade and handgun ammo? Me too. Hmm. There's got to be more pieces around here because I'm not. Oh wait. Ah, oh, you sneaky little thing. Sneaky little devil. Is there. Oh wait, is that one over there? Totally is. Ah, you bitch. Whoa, wait, what's over here? I bet there's another piece. Yep. Is that it? That's it. Nice. Anything else over here? Let's look at a little secret area. Okay. I've collected enough samples. That wasn't too bad. I just don't get why she like shakes when she runs. Like that doesn't look right. Right? <laughs> it's weird. I, don't th I feel like that's not supposed to be the way it is, but whatever. <gasps> you fuck! I think you gotta shoot it in the mouth. Cause I shot in the mouth only a couple times and I fucking died pretty quick. Come on, do your little thing. I, like shoot its teeth off. Yeah, there we go, bitch. Should I scan it? Even though I'm already done, maybe it'll give me like something. All my day's work for you two, eh? Come on. All right, enough chit chat. Get that sample data to me. All right. Anything cool in here? Nope. Ooh, there's that though. Make up for all the bullets I just spent on that fucking the blob. Fake the blob. Okay? Bring Ooh. The no, I want those there fucking you. bullets. Nice work. No doubt about it. These corpses show signs of viral infection. She sounds like Kate too. Came through the FBC's blockade. Maybe that's well, why. Never mind. Now we wait for the results to come back from HQ. Huh? It's the emergency line. Yeah, it's me. Uh huh? Oh no! What? <laughs> I knew it. I, I knew it was coming. I'll take it from here. Uh. We'll have to speed things up. Starting now. Uh huh. Good. Get to it. Jill, Parker. You two are still on the case. What happened? We lost contact with Chris and Jessica. When? Aw, oh, jeez. We're not certain. I've sent their last known coordinates to your terminals. The signal was lost over the ocean. I thought they were in the mountains chasing Feltro. But judging from their position, they must be... On a ship. I'll go back to HQ, take charge of the search and rescue. You two will be my eyes out there. Yes, sir. Wasn't there another Resident Evil on a ship? I think so.
100% accuracy, I'll take it. All I had to do was shoot a giant blob, though, so I got nothing to uh, brag about. I guess I'll save it. I mean, I, there's autosave, but I like to just save it on my own, too. I don't trust autosave, you know? So we back on the These ship. Yeah. Dr. Chris and Jessica. So I, I think like not. this is where the demo started. Hey. No one's saying Chris is dead. All right. Then let's find Pretty him sure. already. What? All right. Let's do this, guys. I know where to go now though. So I'll, I'll run through this part. See what I can find here. Yeah, because Chris is Copy in this that. little room. You we'll just Chris's check trail. out. We'll check him out real quick. Chris! Chris! Well, it looks like Chris. Come on, say something! I found Chris, but he's trapped in there. Can you get him out? No, it's a tough lock. I need the key. Okay. Let's find it. If you're watching this, don't bother going back and watching the demo. Because it takes place from like this point in the next like couple minutes anyways. Now that I know what I'm doing, like it'll go quicker, but I think I can remember what to do. I sure hope there's not a guy right here! Come on, bitch. Where's that little head of yours? Aw, oh, come on. You gonna do me like that? That was close. He almost smacked my bitch ass. He really, really did. Anything cool over here? Nope. I feel like there's ammo around here somewhere. Keep running into walls. See, the controls are a little weird. Most Resident Evil games, though, controls are a little wonky, but it's part of the fun. I think I need an anchor key for that. Locked. <laughs> I literally just played the demo not too long ago, so this is all pretty fresh. Should get past it soon. Don't die! I wish I could save her. I don't think you can, though. Oh, I'm running low. If only there were... If only there was ammo in the thing to the right. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's my lucky day. <laughs> Alright, let's go in here. Cat these two bitch asses. Look at them. Can I join? Ew, look at this butthole. I shot him in the butt. Ah, oh, blasted. That thing, that shot fucking knocked him across the damn room. Wasted a couple I shots at the end. The BOW's got her though. Who was she? I'm Can't take it while I'm on the damn phone. Hold on. Genesis time, bitch. Ooh, key. Okay. Poor girl Parker. with a very nice I boobies. Find anything out on the woman, but I did Such find a, a key. Perv. Let's try it out. I'll meet you in the Chris's room. See you All there. she is is pixels. <laughs> and I'm complimenting her breasts. I'm retarded. I knew it. I remember you, cause you're creepy. Slithering down the fucking wall. 
damn snail. Well, look at that tongue. I think these ones are called Lickers, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure that's the Resident Evil name for these assholes. I wonder why. Ooh, we can go in here now and get this ammo and this grenade and that laundry detergent. No. Oh, fuck you. I'm getting out of here. I got what I came for. I don't need to waste my ammo on you. I got mine. Can't go in that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Can go back here. Oh, you fuckface. I forgot about you. Oh, shit. No! Oh, yeah. Kick this bitch ass. Is he dead? I didn't know. So that's like... He needs one more shot and he's dead, pretty much. When they do that tongue thing. Don't you do it, bitch. Don't you do it. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> that was sick. I'm like too fucking lazy to deal with this asshole right now. Alright. I think that's the last guy. I'm not sure though. There might be one more. Get out of here. Is there an herb around here? I think I got it already. Some herb action. Jill. What Come up? On. We gotta help Chris. Chris! Chris, hope your head doesn't fall Chris? off. No. What is it's this? not Chris. Dummy Chris. Oh, great. <laughs> this is where the uh, demo ended, by the way. Looks like one of the guys from uh, Resident Evil Operations, but I don't know if that's that's probably not even connected in any way. All right, that's the end of episode one. Eighty-eight percent zero deaths. I mean, that's all right. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This is gonna be the end of part one. And I'll have part two up right after this because I'm getting hooked on this game but i'll talk to you guys soon please uh, show me some love if you can like subscribe comment any of that stuff helps me out and i'll talk to you guys soon later